How's it going, Peng Pirates crew? It's Adrian here, and we're back with another video. So as requested, we are going to be playing Nami today. Uh, I'm ripping this off of a, a JP list that won a flagship, so I'll go ahead and link that article down below. I thought I would try this deck list out because it was mainly running the Belmares, which I was really interested in kind of testing out the characters, and then also the Nojiko. So this isn't quite the same oh and also the usopp of course but then this isn't quite the same as the event list so i just wanted to see you know the differences between the two and which one is better so let's get right into it okay so we're gonna be playing against a white beard here i don't even know <laughs> i honestly don't even know where what i do here i think i'm just gonna go uh do i go first or second in this matchup i think i'll go second um, I want to grab, I think I'll just keep this. Okay, that's kind of good, because then I could, I could spot it, and then, I could spot it, and then, uh, use the rubber band of doom. But he's gonna swing nine into me here, which I actually don't like, because then I have all event cards, so I'll just take, and then I'll use my trigger effect there to draw two cards. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I'll get to take the Kaya here. Do I ever swing at him? Because he's probably going to take life if I do swing at him. And then, and then that's good for me, right? Because then I can, I can mill one card off the top of my deck. <laughs> okay, let's draw two, uh, and then trash one of these. I think we're going to go ahead and trash... Let's do a Deathwink and a Spada here. And then we'll go ahead and pass. If he plays, if he swings like, uh, I don't know, if he swings like 11, um, that might be trouble. But I think even if he swings 11, we're just going to overheat. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and use the overheat, bounce back our Kaya. And then he's probably going to play like an Atmos or something or like a four cost Luffy. Yeah, he plays an Atmos. Ah, uh, he's going to be able to swing into me here, which I don't like. I don't have a lot of good cards to put into my hand. Um, I'm honestly thinking about maybe swinging six into him, but that just gets him faster into Moby range. So I'm just going to Kaya to draw two. And actually, the Nojiko is really good here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and play it out. So I'll get rid of a get rid of a Spada, I think. Let's go with Spada and a Deathwink, and then I'll play out a Nojiko to bounce that back to hand. And then we're in pretty much the same spot, but I'm a little bit closer to my goal. So that Nojiko is really, really clutch. Really clutch. And then, yeah, I mean, if he swings seven into me again, I'm literally just going to overheat, uh, bring back the Kaya. I could even consider bringing back the the Nojiko. Uh, this one, I'll just rubber band here because I could use Zef. Uh, so I'll, I'll trash cards from my deck. I'm going to trash a Belmere there, which is which is OK. That's not that's not too bad, but he's going to play out a Thatch, which is really which which is actually trouble. Um, cause that's gonna be able to swing me for a lot. I think here though, I'm just gonna play out a Zeph. Probably just play out Zeph, right? Yeah, let's play out a Zeph. Uh, bounce back a Kaya from my deck and then trash. So I'm at 27 cards in my deck. And then I'll go ahead and let him do his thing. So he's going to swing 8k to me. Uh, the uh, Do I want to counter this? I can use an early gavel. Let's go ahead and use a gavel. And then we'll get rid of another gavel. And then trash the next cards off my deck. I'm at 25 now. 
Uh, and I did that because... Okay, and then he's going to swing another 8. I did that because... Um, he's going to... Now this is going to be trouble trying to counter. So I think I'll just go ahead and go for the overheat. And then bounce back my Nojiko. Just because that's way too efficient to counter there, right? He is at 8 life now, which kind of sucks for us. Okay, I think we just play out the Kaya. See what we get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and discard this Nojiko. I don't really need it anymore. And then I'm going to discard the gavel because we're running out of cards and then I'm going to go ahead and play out the pilaf and then I'll play out a dos bones grab back I think we'll grab back a rubber band mm. I feel like we need to grab back a gavel though Hmm. Tough decisions here. If we grab back a gavel. I mean, does it really matter though? I feel like it doesn't. We just go for the the gavel because we can. Oh. How come it's not letting me? this bugged okay this is a little upsetting i think this is i'm either like lagging or it's it's just bugged i don't know what happened there um that that's kind of upsetting but let's just draw two more cards and then pass i i, I honestly don't know what happened there <laughs> um i think it might be I think it kind of got bugged out. But we're pretty close here. And I don't think he could kill me from this spot. Uh, if we get good triggers, this might be... This might be pretty good for us. Might be pretty good. I think the thing that sucks though is that we don't really have counter events in hand um so we're probably going to eat a lot of these um and we probably will not be able to do anything about most of it so let's go ahead and give him a rubber band and then i'm also going to give him a nojiko here and he's going to swing eight into me get no trigger Swing 12. He's going to kill the Das Bones. I think that's a mistake. He should really go for Kaya there. He's going to play out a Marco. Okay. So, not too bad. So, I think Zeph is a little too dangerous to go for right now. Um, if I Kaya, I take out, I grab four cards out of my life or out of my, out of my deck. So I'm going to go ahead and Kaya. I'm going to trash the Belmere and the Impel Down All-Stars. Um, and then I think I'm going to rest for Peel Off here. And then should I just play out another Kaya? I, I, I want to play this Das Bones, but like I'm afraid it's going to bug out on me again. Um, I don't think I play another Kaya. Zeph has counter. Okay, I don't think I play another Kaya because um, I could potentially play Kaya, Zeph into another Kaya. Okay, so he's going to swing 2k at me here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and block this with Das Bones and Usopp. 
because then he might swing like eight or nine into me and then i could start drawing with love love beam which which would be pretty cool because he can't kill me this turn which is the important part Um, I think here I just go for Zeph. I, I I want to play that Zeph next turn, but I might draw into another one, which is really nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Love, love, beam. Take out another card out of my deck. He's going to ace. He's going to swing 7k. And I'll just do another love, love, beam. So I'm, yeah, I'm taking cards out of my deck here. And then, yeah, this unfortunately I have to take. What is its trigger effects? Return up to one character with a cost of four or less to the owner's hand. Um, no, I don't think I'll do that. Okay, so I have nine cards in my deck. Uh, I'm going to be playing out the Kaya here. And perfect. That's a Nojiko trash. And I'm going to trash the Spada. And then I think I just end turn here and then use pretty much every counter event that I can to um, to win the game. To see if I can win the game. Because then this will be... Because then this trash is the top. So six. This trash is two, three. Um, I just need... So I'll go ahead and take this. Mm unfortunate that it's not a more useful card but it is a card that i can trash off gavel okay so now i just need like a pretty insane thing here and he actually makes a mistake this is not that good for him so i'll trash those two um i'll go play this out and then i'll play I'll play beam again and I'll be able to counter out of that. And then he's probably just going to swing with the thatch. Thatch kills me though, I think. Yeah, thatch kills me though. <laughs> Yep, this I'll just do this. And then he yeah, he's just gonna swing. He can uh, no matter what he does here, he's gonna win. Ah uh, yeah, yep. That's a tough game. If I had the extra gavel, uh it would have been I think I would have won, but I don't know what happened with the Das Bones. Like it just wasn't letting me grab a card, which sucks. If I had the extra gavel somewhere in there, I probably would have been able to take the win. Uh, so it's a little upsetting that that happened, but um, honestly, uh, still a still a pretty good showing, I think, for this deck. Okay, so we're going to be playing against Law here, which is pretty interesting. I actually... <laughs> dude, I just have no idea <laughs> how these matchups go. Um, I'm going to mull this hand away. Okay, that's, that's pretty good, I think, actually. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass <laughs> so I mean if he swings me like fives or sixes or whatever I'm just gonna be able to play out the rubber bands uh the good play here is to just not swing at all to be honest um but might be trouble okay well there is a rubber band for you I've got a rubber band for you and then I'll just peel off leave one up for a rubber band um, we, we could also spot up it, to be honest, spot up might be a little bit better actually, uh, so that we can kind of predict what's going to be able to come out. He's going to use the Machino and the Bonnie probably get to get like a, like a blocker or something here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, but I think, yeah, that, that's blocker law. He's going to be able to, like, pick back up his Curly Dedan and then play out blocker law. 
and then start swinging me for bigger numbers, I think. Yeah, but I think he's gonna swing me five, if anything, here. So here, I definitely just want to spot a. Hmm. Take the peel off. I could always take the Nojiko, bounce back his blocker law, and then swing five at Bonnie. I think that's the play, actually. So I'll just do this. And then I could even grab back the Nojiko next, or like in a future turn with overheats. But yeah, I think the play is to do that. Swing, grab, or attack Bonnie. Then yeah, he's just going to block with a chopper. So now he doesn't have like that much of a threatening board, uh, which is good for us. And then... Um, we could kind of just ball out, but to be to be honest, uh, Usopp's rubber band is going to what was it, what was the second card? It was it was peel off, right? So I might not even want to use Usopp's rubber band because I actually really like I actually really like the cards we have at the top because the peel off draws the overheat, which is nice. So, I mean, if he's going to swing 7k here, I, I think I'm just going to take, to be honest. Because I do want to play the peel off next turn. But yeah, he's just going to be able to get, like, so many searches off. Okay, so he's swinging 9, though. So it's like... I mean, if you're swinging nine, go ahead, dog. Uh, I can use this trigger effect. Do I, though? Um, I don't think so. Not really. I don't really want to bounce anything back to his hand, right? Um, on three. Yeah. I mean, just play the peel off. Pass turn. Play the peel off. Pass turn. Leave a ton of Dawn up for counters. Um, so he's going to swing five. I'm just going to go ahead and counter out with a rubber band. Oh, we get rid of a Kaya, which is not which is not too good for us. That kind of sucks, actually. Well, he's going to swing another five. I'm just going to use another rubber band. Get rid of a Gavel, which isn't too bad. That one's not too bad. He's gonna play out of Hawkins. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna I'm, I'm definitely gonna overheat this and then play Nojigo. Uh and then we're gonna overheat this, bring back Nojiko to our hand, and then we're gonna play it on the Hawkins. Uh, I wish I had another. I wish I had another um like spotter or something. Ooh. Yeah, I'll use this trigger effect. Let's use it on the Hawkins. So maybe I don't need to use Nojiko. Okay, last game, the Das Bones like really screwed me because I couldn't grab a one cost event. Let's let's see if that is the case right now. Okay, so it actually works this time. Dude, it, it did not work last time and it was so I was so upset. Um I think here I actually just Zeph. Uh, and then grab back a rubber band, right? So I'll, I'll go ahead and Zeph. I'll trash the top two cards on my deck. What were they? Okay, no Kaya, so that's good. Um, do I want to play out Nojiko here? Uh, I think I do, right? I think I will, just so he doesn't get that easy swing. And then if he wants to swing big, that's fine. He doesn't really have... He's probably not going to, though. He's going to want to, you know, stack and stuff. And then if he does, that's okay, too. Because then we we have we have other cards to play. So he's going to swing five. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just rubber band. 
Oh, we trash another Kaya, dude. We are so unlucky with trashing these Kayas. Swing another five. Uh, this time... Let's go ahead and... Either way, I have to take one of these. Let's let us let us decide this isn't the one we want to take. Um. Okay. Let's decide this isn't the one we want to take because he's probably gonna shamble something out here, and then if he swings at me again, I could get like another like Deathwing trigger or some cool trigger card that we can use. But we're running out of resources pretty quickly here, which is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, because we we trashed two Kayas, which feels bad. Yeah, so 9k. Do I use this trigger effect? I think I do, because I, I want more cards in my hand. And then... Hmm... I think I'll get rid of a... I think I'll get rid of a... Deathwink here. And then I'll keep the Usopp. Ooh, perfect. That's actually perfect. So then I'll swing 5k into this to Dawn, of course. And then he could block it if he wants, but he's probably not going to. Uh, if I play out Usopp, he still has a blocker. Uh, so I could play out Usopp here. I, I, I'm going to play out Usopp. Bounce back the, bounce back the law. Draw two trash one. I think is it draw two? Oh no, it's trash two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trash the impel down all stars for sure. Um, and then oh, it's so tough here. I think I'm going to go ahead and trash the. I think I have to trash the beam, right? Do tough decisions. Uh, I'll, I'll trash the beam for now. Uh, that, that feels kind of bad. I don't know if that was the right play. I don't. I, I. I don't know, to be honest. A little bit unsure about it. So he's gonna swing five k into my leader here. Man, this is gonna suck. I think I have to. Mm, I think I'll definitely take one of these. Okay, so then, that's fine. And he's gonna go ahead and swing five. I'll I'll block that one. Yep. Then he's just gonna play out another law. He's gonna play out another brook. He's gonna swing nine k, which is gonna feel awful. <laughs> this is eleven k. We kind of have to, we kind of have to counter this though. Do we? No, we don't. Uh, then I'll use this trigger effect to draw two cards. Yep. Okay, so we definitely swing Nojiko into Makino here. I think we trashed our other Nojiko already. Yeah, we did. So, because playing Zeph and Nojiko takes seven Dawn, so I actually don't want to do that. Mm. 
tough decisions here. But I think I just have to go for... Because I don't think... Okay, so I could draw... I could draw max... Draw two trash two... Draw two... I could draw four cards this turn. I'm going to go ahead and play the Kaya out. Trash a Belmere. If I play out another Kaya, I'll be at 11. Uh, okay. What else do I trash here? Do I trash a Pilaf? Do I ever trash a Pilaf here? Um, Pilaf gets me two cards. So you get, Zeph will get me four. I think I do trash peel off here because it's not going to get me any counter power. And then I play Dos Bones. Dos Bones will grab me back a. Let's do a rubber band. Um, and then I'll play out another Dos Bones over the Nojiko. And then that's gonna grab me another rubber band. And then I'm gonna pass with seven dawn up. Cause then with seven dawn, I, I think I could use all of my counter events, right? Yeah, I could use all the counter events that I have in my hand. Um. Okay, so he's gonna swing five. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rubber band that I just drew. Gonna swing five. Um, again, just gonna use the rubber band there. I don't know. I don't think there's a way he can win this. Swings five again. Um, This one, I'll just use overheats. Bring back a Kaya to my hand. Plays Hawkins. Okay. So, okay, do we have it? I think we do, right? Because then we just play out a Kaya. And then I'll trash Deathwink and Das Bones. And then we have another Kaya over the Das Bones. And we'll trash this. And I guess I'll trash this too. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Zeph will trash two cards off the top. Okay, I did play this correctly. And then we play the Zeph. Um, bounce back the Kaya. Trash two cards from our deck. And then we play out the Kaya again. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and trash any of these two cards and then this is the guaranteed win because then gavel will gavel will trash the last two cards from our deck and then we don't even have to finish the counter phase we'll just win i think <laughs> yeah so he's gonna swing eight and then i'm going to counter two trash cards from my deck Woo! and we got the win that was a close one he needed to swing nines you needed to swing nines there for sure all right, so unfortunately, that's going to be the end of today's video, but let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments. You know, are you playing Nami in OP3? 
For me, I definitely think I'm going to play Nami once or twice in locals. The problem with it is just that when you go up against people that know the matchup, it's super, super difficult to actually squeak by by the wins. But she does have that really fun surprise factor. Maybe not fun for your opponent, but fun on your side for sure. Um, and it's definitely really cool to squeak out with those wins. But as always, thank you all for watching. Good luck in anything you're doing, you know, tournaments, locals, uh, school, anything in your career. And I'll see you on the next one.